What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Scrawl by Mark Shulman. So this is one of those random books where I just needed something to read. It was available at the library. It was really short so I decided to give it a shot and I really really enjoyed it. This is one of those YA contemporary novels that I would classify with speak the way I used to be, highly logical behavior, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't deal with sexual violence but it does deal with perspectives that you just don't get to see that often. You're seeing inside of somebody's mind where maybe their story doesn't get to get told or maybe it's not told in a way that it should be told and you're very much focused in on them and how they're experiencing things and what they're going through and the best way to describe this book is it's almost like a modern day catcher in the rye which I always remember that when we read this book in high school nobody else in my class liked catcher in the rye I was the only one who liked catcher in the rye so if you're not a fan of that book you might not be a fan of scrawl but I do highly recommend it it's such a fascinating read it's told from the perspective of a high school bully. He is in detention and his punishment is that he has to write in his journal. And it has to be sometimes like a certain number of words or a certain number of pages, but it's just him and his guidance counselor. And this book is his journal entries. So it's him talking to his journal, talking to the guidance counselor, talking to us as an audience, and that's it. Sometimes we do get interjections from the guidance counselor, but everything is told in his own words. And what I love about that is you, that you really see this progression of this main character as the story goes on because at the very beginning Todd doesn't really want to be doing this he doesn't really want to tell you anything he's kind of just like wisecracking at the guidance counselor kind of talking about things that he thinks would like make her uncomfortable or like whatever but as the story goes on you can really tell that this starts to become a kind of therapy for him and he starts to write more and more and he starts to tell stories and you see that this person is very smart and he is so much smarter than a lot of people give him credit for and underneath this like surface of being this high school bully of somebody who beats up kids for lunch money of who breaks kids glasses all that kind of stuff there's somebody else much more complex underneath all of that and somebody who a lot of teachers have already written off or a lot of people aren't willing to give a chance and all it took was this one guidance counselor to stand up for him and this one guidance counselor who allowed him to tell his story for everything to change for him and that really spoke to me because I do want to be a teacher I'm planning on going back to school to become a teacher and that's kind of my reasoning for it I always found that when you have good teachers it allows you to flourish it allows you to explore your passions it allows you to just feel like you can really accomplish a lot more. Whereas if you have bad teachers, you start to feel like you hate school, you start to feel like everything's against you, all that kind of stuff. So I feel like if this is something I'm passionate about, this is something that I definitely want to pursue because we need more teachers that are passionate about teaching and that are passionate about helping their kids. And reading this book, it just really made me feel a lot of feelings and I really, really enjoyed it. It's very thought provoking and I just feel like on a meta level, seeing how Tom like grew as a writer and seeing how he was writing and how he was writing more and more and more as the story went on it was just really cool and you almost feel like proud of him in a way so I'm giving this book an A plus I do think that it gets a little bit slow in the middle but in a meta way it kind of works which I can't really explain you'll just have to read the book for yourself if you want to listen to it it's only about six hours and I actually really enjoyed listening to it there is another speaker for the guidance counselor so it's almost kind of like when she interjects with her little notes. It's like she's reading over his shoulder, which was a little bit strange, but it was really cool to listen to, so I would recommend trying it out that way. And if anything, it's just a really cool book, and I do think that more and more people should definitely check this out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!